Hi guys, I wanted to give you an update on my 3DS collection. It's grown a little bit since the launch of the 3DS. I saw my Aqua Blue just playing 3DS that came out shortly after launch date. And I'm not a gaming expert on any way. I just pick the games that I think are fun and then the ones that I don't enjoy I trade in or trade. So we're going to get started. First game I have, I don't have the case for it, I bought it pre-owned short, shortly after the release, Super Mario 3D Land, and it's a fun game. It's just like it says, it's a 3D Mario game that plays like a 2D Mario game. I have a lot of fun in it, lots of hours invested in this game. Just wish it had an overworld like Mario 64 or Galaxy do. Hopefully in the future we'll get one for the... 3DS or Wii U. Next is Super Monkey Ball 3D. Um, this game is alright. It's not as good as the GameCube versions or even the regular DS version. Um, but it does have some fun mini games and it's not too difficult, which is why. I and mean, the GameCube game was very, very difficult. This one is sort of easy. I think I beat it in a day. I got for super cheap not too long ago. So if you find it cheap, I mean, it's definitely worth the pickup. Next is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. I admit I don't have a lot of time invested in this one, but it is a lot of fun. Um, my friend's 8-year-old um, likes to play this game. And, yeah, I mean, it's alright. I haven't played the original version for the GameCube. I have a GameCube, I just don't have the game. So I am really need to pick this up maybe when I school and work slows down. I'll play it some more. Next is Animal Crossing New Leaf. I love this game. It's um, a big um, advance over the previous games. I liked how you can customize your town and... Um, and furniture, had a lot more to do with the development of your city or town or community. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. I have a lot of time invested in this game. So this is definitely a good game to pick up. Next is New Super Mario Brothers 2. Um, this one plays like a classic platformer. You're the gimmick is to collect all the coins to get a million. I do have a million coins. I played it and played it and played it until I got that much. Mainly with Coin Rush and it has some or at least, at least it used to have some DLC um, tracks that you could download to your game for additional money but you got a lot of extra coins by playing the Gold Rush over and over again. This one, I mean, I could live with, live without. It's not really, wasn't really anything too special in my eyes. But it is fun. So I don't recommend it, but at the same time I do recommend it. It's just up to you whether you want it in your collection or not. Next is Mario Kart 7. This was, um... One of the first 3DS games I bought. I mean, it's a Mario Kart game. It's fun. I like the, the different gimmicks in this one. The only thing was that I'm not the best Mario Kart gamer. And I um, beat everything on 150cc shortly after I got it. And so it might be a little easier for you hardcore Mario Kart guys. But, I mean, it's fine. It's what it is. But it's still a great kart racing game. Now, in contrast to that one, I also have Sonic and All-Star Racing Transform. I bought this when it launched. Um, I actually had Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing for the DS, and I loved it so much. I traded in my Mario Kart DS because I didn't play it at all because I had because I always played the Sonic and Sega All Star Racing. This one um, also has airplanes and boats. It's sort of similar to the gimmicks of 
Mario Kart 7, but at the same time are different. I think this game is a lot harder than Mario Kart 7. So if you're into the harder racing games, um, this one is definitely worth a pickup. And I don't think it's a clone. Everybody says, oh, it's a clone, but it's still, I think it could stand on its own. Rayman Origins. I got this, my sister and my brother got this for me for my birthday. I wanted it for a while. I've been waiting for it for a long time. For some reason, it took forever to release on the 3DS. But I love the art style, the play. It's a lot easier to handle um, the controllers and stuff. It's just a fun game. See how beautiful it is. It's just a beautiful game. And it's difficult, just like all Rayman games are. But... I mean, if you're up for a challenge, pick it up. It's great. Um, Rayman Legends, I think, just released not too long ago, too, which I really am looking forward to picking up. Then the last game, I just bought this. I mean, I wanted it for a while, but I just bought it. Um, Donkey Kong Country Returns. I need to take that sticker off. Um, I just bought brand new from GameStop. It's a port of the Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii. I never had it for the Wii. I Honestly, I just got a Wii, and then a few months later, I upgraded to the Wii U, so. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's it's a little challenging, but I should have done this with the game show in the back, too, but. I mean, it's a lot of fun. A lot of um, trial and error, but I like how it has a multiple checkpoints, so you don't have to start the levels all the way over, or you're almost finished and start all the way back at the midpoint. But, yeah, that's it's great. Um, if you guys have any other recommendations of games I should get, let me know. So I'm really looking to upgrade my collection. I just got a Wii U a few months ago. I only have a couple games for it. So any Wii U games um, recommendation, that would be appreciated also. So thanks and bye.